Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. So today I am in one of my favorite places actually, like ever. This is West Bay, which is on the south coast of Dorset. Um, I first rode here about 20 years ago when I was 16, 17. I, I first came here when I was like 11 years old with my dad and we were sort of walking around because just over there is the beach. Um, I'm in a little uh, car park here. As you can see, there's these nice old fashioned trains and stuff behind me. This is the old like train station bit, uh, which I'm gonna have a little ride on first. And then I'm going to go down to where the beach is. Um, honestly, this place has been one of my favorite places to ride and train ever. It's got this amazing set of street riding obstacles and stuff um, along the pier and on the waterfront. And then it's got these amazing sea defense type rocks and stuff. So I'm on my way to a gig in Sussex where I'm going to be tomorrow. And um, I just thought I'd stop by here and have a little ride today. It is so hot right now. I literally just got out of the van. It is 20 past three in the afternoon and it's 30 degrees, so it is warm. And it is the 8th of December today. So we're hopefully getting towards the end of the really hot season at the moment, but uh, yeah, it is toasty out here. So I'm gonna do like a bit of riding, bit of sitting in the shade, and then I'm almost certainly getting in the sea at the end of this day, but yeah. As I said, I'm at the train station bit now. Gonna have a hop around here first to see how we go and then uh, move on down to the other end of town, have a hop around there. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Um, really enjoying the fact that like every day I see there's new subscribers to the channel and the amount of hours go up that people have watched stuff and that's really kind of heartwarming and stuff. Um, I would, as I said before, I'd still be making videos if I wasn't making videos for YouTube in the hope of getting them monetized, but actually doing this is really fun as well. And all the people that comment, say nice things, that all is hugely helpful and kind and wonderful also. So thank you all very much. Um, and yeah, let's have a hop around and see how it goes today. So as I said before, this is a disused bit of railway line that we've ridden on a few times in the past. Um, there actually used to be these really amazing concrete blocks like down here and stuff. So you could gap from them up onto the thing, but uh, for now, no, there's, uh, they've, they've gone now. Um, so it's just like the rails and the wall and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm still gonna have a hop around and see. One of the things I always remember trying to do was seeing if we could ride along the rail and then slide up up onto the wall. So um, yeah, gonna give that a go and see if I can still do that after however many years it's been since I was last here. like rail.
Um, I honestly don't know how many tries that was. It might have been close to 100. Um, and that was not how I expected the start of this ride to go, trying that line nearly 100 times over. That was so much effort. Um, and I was getting so frustrated. It's the real... That's where the autism comes in, the autism and the dyspraxia and stuff. It's balancing. It's just being able to get the hang of all the little things that actually help you balance on these lines, which is bizarre because the other business that I run, apart from riding bikes, is called the Slackline School, where I teach people to walk on tightropes. So, um, yeah, I'm actually quite amazed that I managed to, uh, yeah, do all that. So, um, yeah. I'm very happy that I got that. I hopefully got it on the GoPro as well, this angle also. Um, I had to hop around a few of the lines here. There used to be a line where you side hopped literally from one of the sleepers up to there, which I'm hoping will take me slightly less attempt and then I can get on the bike. Well, I'm gonna put the bike in the van and drive around to the next bit of the bay. Right, let's see if we can get a few more lines here and then uh, head on to do something more fun because I'm bored of riding rails now. Okay, it took me a few tries, but I did get it in the end. So uh, yeah, right. I'm gonna roll on to the next car park. There's one just over there, which has got some weird slope walls and I've never actually ridden on them, but I'm gonna have a go and see what they're like. And then I'll go around to the main bit. pretty happy with that tap I think I just measured it it's just over 50 inches so 52 inches it's on a sloped wall so like yeah I don't think I could do that kind of height on a vertical wall but um yeah it's, it's fun nonetheless I might see if I can get the end bit like from a static hook and then uh, roll on to the next spot Cool, well, that went okay. Um, I couldn't quite do it from a side hop up to hook. Haven't practiced them anywhere near enough, but I think I'm gonna start making a list of things that I'm not very good at, like riding on rails and static hooks. And when we get back in the barn, hopefully, start uh, putting together some things like that and be that what I practice. So yeah, right, I'm gonna put the bike back in the van, drive on to the next spot. So this now is like West Bay proper. This is the, the Bay of West Bay. And if anyone thinks that they might recognize this place and they haven't actually been here before, it's entirely possible you do from a TV drama called Broadchurch that was filmed around here and at Clifton in Bristol, um, which starred David Tennant and Olivia Coleman. So it's actually got some quite famous filming credits here. And behind me down there, there's those quite famous looking cliffs, which feature in uh, a lot of the TV dramas and stuff, but there's also really good trails riding here. So I am gonna go and get myself a uh, parking ticket, pay for some parking, because you've always got to pay someone these days apparently, get my bike out and uh, have a hop around. And when I'm finished, I'm definitely getting in that seat. Enjoy. So this is basically one of my favorite walls in the whole country. It's this just like nice long slope wall that gets gradually bigger all the way down to this end here. Where I am here is literally about 50 inches um, and I have on occasion side hopped it. So I'm gonna have a little play around and see what I can do.
So there actually used to be like a little um, light in a cage on this point here. And from years ago, I actually came up there and tapped it sideways. I think that was on a phase. But um, yeah, alas, it is gone. But that means there's more space to side up and jump up things. So let's see what we can do here. So I've never actually been particularly good at short run-up taps, but that seems, seems to have gone up quite well. Right, the line that I basically came here to do today is to tap this wall and then see if I can side up it. And I'll explain why afterwards. But uh, yeah, there's no more time to mess about. There's one bit basically where the wall uh, is really quite big near where that orange yellow bit is there, but also where this slipway tapers off so you can get a run-up from over there and go up it. And that's where it's about 50 inches. So. Let me give it a go and see if I can do that. So I'm really quite happy with that. Two tries to get that tap. Um, yeah, and it just sailed up it. The side up, not quite sure. I'm gonna try a smaller one first and then see if I can do the big bit where it's 50. We'll see what happens. So I'm literally so happy that I just managed to do that. My bike's back there, the extra bit I just jumped was here. Um, and I came out and measured it here a couple of years ago when I did it, and this is actually like 50 inches, like where my back wheel starts down here. Um, and the reason that it was so important for me to be able to do that, um, and I'm actually really happy because I just did it three times in a row without fail. But the thing is, I said to someone, a couple of people recently, that my goal, one of the goals that I'm setting myself, a long-term goal, is to be able to do 50 inches at 50 years old. So I'm 36 now. If I can still do that in 14 years, bearing in mind the first time I did that would have been six years ago when I was about 30. So if I can still do that, 50 inches at 50 years old, that is my goal that I still be able to start about. And I really hope, I mean, this wall's been here for about 50 years. I hope it's gonna be here for another 14 years. And I can hopefully try and get up it, but I'm just really happy with that. Um, I think it, like, it goes back to the day of like watching people like Craig Lee Scott and stuff and being like them doing 50 inches and being like, oh God, I'll never be in that club. I'll never be able to actually jump 50 inches from the floor straight up. But I think, yeah, watching those kind of guys is actually what's made it. And people like Damon Watson, who got in touch with me recently and given me tips on side ops and stuff has been so helpful and great. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy that I've made it up there. That's my goal. If you've got a goal or anything, tell me what it is in the comments below because I want to hear it. I want to hear the things that keep you excited about riding bikes. For me, it's always been making videos and stuff, but setting these targets and goals, can I do, still do 50 inches at 50 years old? Someone said to me, eight foot gap at 80 years old. I don't know about that. But then, you know what? I think, honestly, you only get old because you decide to. You only you stay young by doing these things and you have to just keep going at it and when you see guys like andre burton and kenny belay and well vincent hermans like 38 years old i think he is 39 even still competing and getting to the finals in the world championships age really is just a number and i met hans ray for the first time the other day and that guy's nearly 60 so like 
yeah there's you really just have to keep going at it and uh yeah i'll get back to you guys in 14 years and let you know if i can still do this but i'm probably going to try and come here and do this at least once a year to keep myself in shape for this i don't know what it is this wall is just so nice it's got an ever so slight slant to it but it is yeah still it's a true 50 inch side off of that bit there but um yeah right so that was all well and good what i'm going to do now is i'm going to head all the way down this beachfront here which is about I think it's about half a mile down here you get to the end of the bit that you can walk and there's some pretty cool rocks that hopefully haven't got too many people on them so i'm gonna head down there and uh have a go at that okay so slight change of plans i've just ridden down here it wasn't a mile it was like 200 meters my memory doesn't serve me very well but i basically came to these big closed gates and these signs here which i don't know if you can read but they basically say um there's been a recent rock fall down there and these cliffs up here which are really really unstable are just like not worth going near um and for once i'm actually going to heed the good advice of others and not go down there there's way more streety stuff back down there on the pier so uh yeah I'm gonna go play on some of that as well. All right, let's see what happens. So I went and had a look at the first sort of big spit of sea defense rocks down there. And I think when I was a lot younger, they were a lot more fun. Now, firstly, they've actually filled in quite a lot of it. So it's uh, there's less stuff to ride. And I've come up to, there's some streety stuff behind me here, but there's so many people there and they've actually changed quite a lot of it as well. Um, so I'm going to wander down at this big long key here. Um, is it a key or is it a pier? I think it's a key. Um, I should know this. Um, and uh, yeah, there's some street stuff here. Hopefully not gonna get in anyone's way. Have a little hop and then we might call that a day because I've um, done quite a lot of fun stuff today and uh, don't need to overexert myself before doing a show tomorrow. So uh, yeah, now wandering down this uh, big long pier here. It looks pretty desolate, but there is actually some riding down there or there was the last time I was here five years ago. So. Uh, yeah, we will, we will see. I hope this guy doesn't mind me filming him, but it's pretty gosh darn beautiful out here. So I always kind of worry about riding in public. I don't like it. I don't like riding in front of people, which I know seems strange considering what I do for a living. But um, yeah, it's always strange riding in front of other people because then people surprise you and they all turn out to be really nice. Um, like some people I just met down the end of the pier here were just like, wow, that's amazing. That's so cool. What are you doing? What's it called? Um, so yeah, I still don't like, I don't like having a loud, clanky, squeaky bike that makes noise and upsets people's holidays and such like and stuff but um yeah it's nice when people are nice um i'm gonna see if there's like one more line down here somewhere there just might be um and then it might be time to get in the sea
So those last couple of lines I just did, the one to the post and then tapping the thing with the slope top, those are kind of just like really cool old school lines that I did like, I remember doing here like 20 years ago with, um, I think Andy was filming and um, Dan Jones was here and Joe Seddon, uh, it was in one of the MBR videos and stuff, but literally that would have been, yeah, 2004, 2005, so like 18 years ago. Um, and I, they're well within my reach now, really. I mean, the tap wasn't. The tap was like, I had two goes at that because I was like, oh, a bit weird. And then I've never actually side up this here wall. I just thought, let's try and get a nice shot with the sunset in the background and stuff. So I've managed to do that. I'm sweating so badly. My eyes just hurt so much from the sweat. I think I have washed my helmet, but I think I need to wash it again because it's just storing old sweat in it, which is just disgusting and horrible. And... I kind of wish I had ridden some more rocks. The rocks right down the far end are definitely like the best ones, I think. But as I said, there was that big rock fall warning and stuff. Well, there had been a rock fall, so just not a clever idea to go beyond that point. And even though there are loads of rocks here and stuff, they're kind of limited. Um, and a friend of mine who uh, is actually both a trials rider and used to be an engineer that actually like put in sea defense rocks said to me, if they're really badly done then they'll be good for trials but if they're well done then they're not because basically if they've done the job right they'll have filled in all the gaps so when you look at all these rocks and stuff it's actually quite hard to find gaps and things that are good i mean there's quite a bit actually here but literally like from the gapping from the rocks to the wall and stuff um but i mean i'm knackered i've done so much stuff then definitely coming back here this is pretty much one of my top five all favorite time places to ride that wasn't even a very good sentence um but uh yeah definitely going to come back here and ride some more i mean i've got to come back and do that side up in 14 years so um yeah but right now i am gonna go and take my clothes off and get in the sea that is happening pretty much now quite nice out here oh well thank you very much for watching me ride today um, hope you guys enjoyed it if you haven't already please subscribe and uh yeah get in the sea if it's safe after you've been for a ride it does so much good like i literally feel so much better just letting all the aches and pains out and stuff going for a quick dip here um yeah i'm gonna put my camera back and go for a bit more of a swim but uh yeah thanks very much hope you're all well see you all next week for whatever i've got next time okay bye, -bye.